Crafting Strategy, a summary of the Henry Mensford article, Crafting Strategy, 1988. Mensford saw the manager as a craftsman and the strategy as his clay. Crafting summed up strategy as a process. He believed that strategy is deductive, not inductive. That strategists recognize patterns and didn't plan them. That planning actually distorts and misguides strategy. The idea is that strategy is what's happening already. That it's what the frontline players are doing to make things work the best. And that if you don't know what your strategy is, look at what themes keep making your decisions for you. Mintzberg believed that strategy explained past actions and intended behavior. To discover a company's strategy, you can look at the interplay of the environment, leadership and organization of the company. There is a critical link between action and thought. Action leads to change and innovation, and this then leads to strategy. The problem comes when there are many layers between the doers and the decision makers. Mintzberg says that strategy has two feet. One is deliberate and the other is emergent. Learning has to work with control. Strategy makes stability because if there is no stability, there can be no strategy. The cycle stages flow like this. Evolutionary change goes on and then, bam, revolutionary turmoil changes things. And then stability returns. If there's not enough time between these stages, then strategy has failed. Lastly, Mintzberg talked about needs. Strategists need to know when you need to yank the bad ones out and when to leave the novel ones to be in the corner of the garden so that they can take over when the turmoil hits and they blossom. So, would Mintzberg believe in the executive strategist? Nope. He believes in the personal touch of managers and sees them as craftsmen. The whole purpose is to manage the stability of strategy, not change. Notice the trends before they hit and then modify the business to deal with it. Crafting strategy by Mintzberg in a nutshell.